Here are three signs that should mean to you that you're meant to be an entrepreneur. Now, my name is Bashar Ketun. I'm the founder of BJK University, an education company with a mission to impact one million lives. If this is your first time to this channel, consider subscribing. Also, let us know in the comment sections what more you'd like to see from our channel. Now, one thing that I've always thought about in, 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 in talking to other entrepreneurs and other people in our space and just getting to learn about more people is that it seems that everybody that has started or tried to start their own thing or wanted to kind of branch out and do something that wasn't normal um, seemed that they had something in common, right? When I have a conversation with another entrepreneur, it's a conversation that can keep going for hours and I never get bored because there's always something to learn from each other. So the following three signs, if you have those, at least two of them, then you are meant to be an entrepreneur. Now, just one thing to explain before we get into those three things, what is the definition of an entrepreneur? So an entrepreneur is somebody who is willing to take greater than normal risks to accomplish something new, right? And for you to become an entrepreneur does not always mean to start your own thing. Sometimes it's simply being empowered enough within an organization, within a company to actually accomplish something new. So it doesn't always mean, or you don't always need to start your own business to start your own thing, right? So, but however, obviously the organization you're in needs to have growth possibility for you to grow within the organization like BJK University. Everyone within BJK University is treated like an entrepreneur, is compensated like an entrepreneur, and is provided with an opportunity to grow with the company as we grow. Now, the very first characteristic of an entrepreneur, if you have that, is that you do not like to be told what to do. And in fact, you actually would rather someone give you a platform and say, here are the tools that you can work with, and go out there and kind of accomplish your own thing and, and become creative. Entrepreneurs are creative human beings, people that want to feel the sense of ownership, people that want to build their own thing, build their own, you know, whether if it's uh, uh, systems, whether if it's a business, whether if it's just building a branch within an organization or improve something that already exists and just simply try and say that, hey, you know what? I was the reason why this thing even exists. Because of my knowledge, because of my creativity, because of my effort this thing created, and I don't want you to tell me what to do. Just empower me and give me the tools to go out there and become creative. And that is the very first thing, or very first sign that if you have that, then you are meant to be an entrepreneur. Now the very second thing is that you don't always do it just for the money. Now let's not shy away from the fact that we all need money because we all have mouths to feed, we all have bills to pay, but you're not only interested in the money. In fact, you could even be more interested in the impact that the thing you're doing or the thing you're building has more than you are interested in just the money. Again, money is an incentive, money is necessary, but money is not everything for you. It's more of the sense of ownership, it's more of the sense of accomplishment, it's more of the sense of achievement of accomplishing something and you saying, this is mine, I built this thing, is what drives you and what wakes you up every single morning to go back to work excited to actually do the thing, right? And so if you have that second thing, then you are meant to be an entrepreneur. Now, before I get into the third thing, if you're enjoying this video so far, do me a favor and smash the thumbs up button because it truly helped us scale and rank in the algorithm. Now, the third thing is you have a message or you have something inside of you that you wanna share with the world. You don't just want to get by and just do what you're told and go to work and collect the paycheck and pay your bills and that's it. You have something deep down. You feel like you have a moral obligation for you to build this thing because after you've built it, other people's lives could change. Other people's lives could be impacted. Now, whether if you're just an Amazon seller selling $24 products to you know, everyday customers or whether if you are you know, someone like you know, a, a partner in BJK University with a mission to impact one million lives or if you are the president of a country or whatever you are, but you truly feel like you have a moral obligation to wake up every single day and build this thing that you are working on because this thing can impact the lives of other people, because this thing can help other people live a better life, because this thing can 
change someone else's life. And again, you truly feel like you have a moral obligation to go out there and accomplish something and help other people. Now, again, if you have at least two of those things, then you are truly meant to be an entrepreneur. But it's really important for you to understand that becoming an entrepreneur is not the sexy thing that you know Instagram or YouTube makes it look. Becoming an entrepreneur, you have to believe in yourself and you cannot allow society to place things on you and label you certain things in certain ways. You cannot be okay with the status quo. You have to show up every single day like it is your last day. You have to show up every single day like it is day one. Even if your company generated $100 million in revenue last year, you still have to show up like you're broke. You still have to innovate every single day. You still have to empower other leaders within your organization, within your company, within your team. You still have to make sure that you are doing whatever it takes to accomplish new things. Because if you're not growing, then you're dying. And if you're not green and growing, you're ripe and riding, and you don't want to do that. You want to always be growing and accomplishing new things. Again, if you've enjoyed this video so far, smash the thumbs up button and let us know in the comment sections how many of those three things you have. Number one, you don't like to be told and you actually like to be empowered to do your own thing. Number two, it's not just about the money, it's more about the impact. And number three, you feel like you have a moral obligation to go out there and truly make a big impact in the world. Let us know which of those three you know, you have below in the comment sections. Outside of that, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.